Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella, and today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. <laughs> it's pretty early. It's just past 6 in the morning. I've been getting up earlier, <laughs> but I do have a new whip that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this pattern has two names because it was originally named something, and then I think for copyright reasons they had to rename it. But I made the same blanket. I want a blanket kick, by the way. <laughs> um, for Jesse when I was pregnant with him back in 2015. And at that time, it was called Princess Charlotte's Christening Blanket. And I think because Princess Charlotte is like a famous person, <laughs> they probably had to change the name um, because of that. So now it's called Little Cherub Set. And there is a blanket and a little christening gown and I think a bonnet. But uh, I will link the blanket below. But I started it yesterday. Oh, let me get the ball band. Okay. <laughs> I started it yesterday with some yarn that I picked up at Hobby Lobby recently. I showed it when I bought it, but it's Baby B Soft and Sleek, low pill fiber. Um, the co is called Grasshopper, and it's 164 yards uh, each. The morning sun is shining through. Um, so I had two balls of it. I'm going to have to buy more, I'm pretty sure. But this is what I got done yesterday. I got a lot of it done yesterday. So the middle part is solid, kind of like a giant solid granny square. And then I did just start the lace. It'll... Uh, it's basically this over and over and over until it's much bigger. I w if I could find a picture of the one I made Jesse, I will put it up here. I made it bef for him before um, before I knew what he was. I was just barely pregnant and excited, you know. So um, I made it in like a gender neutral. It was Lime Brand Baby. It was the number three. And with the number three, you're supposed to hold two of them together. That's what the pattern calls for. This is a worsted, so I'm just winging it. <laughs> Hopefully it don't come out ginormous, but um, I can't remember what color it was, but it was like a, I think the the base of it was like green and white, and then it had specks of pink and blue in it. I still have that blanket. It's in the closet in Jesse's little special box, <laughs> but that's the blanket we took with us to the hospital and used at the hospital after he was born. But anyways, since we are thinking about having another baby in the future, um, I'm wanting to make baby items, you know, baby fever, <laughs> but also if, if we don't end up having another baby, um, I'll be stocked up on stuff to gift people, <laughs> but I really enjoy this pattern. It works up quick. This is one whole ball. Let's see here. Right here's where the first ball ended. So there's only a few rows of the second ball. I was a little surprised for brown to pop out in this ball because <laughs> when it was wrapped up, all I saw was the white, green, and blue, and then brown just popped up. But it's okay. I still like it, and I still think it'd be fine for a boy or a girl. I'm not the kind of person who thinks pink is for girls and blue is for boys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to make it and finish it <laughs> and put it aside and see what happens. But I really like this pattern. It's free download on Ravelry. No, it's not a download on Ravelry. It's a red heart pattern. I click through. It's free on Ravelry. Uh, not Ravelry. Why do I keep saying that? Free on your inspirations. And, um,. I don't know if the whole set comes in the download or not now, but I, I've had it forever on my computer since 2015. So I just reprinted it the other day so that I could, um, cause when I print my patterns out, I keep tracks of the, <laughs> the rows on the side. But yeah, so I'm just whipping along. I'm gonna run out of yarn. So I'm gonna have to run back to Hobby Lobby eventually and grab another ball or two. Uh, we'll see how far this one goes. And then I probably should only need maybe one more ball. I don't know. But I'm going to keep track of how much yardage it does use so I can make a note on my pattern for how much yardage it takes in worsted weight as opposed to two strands of number three. So uh, hopefully it won't be super different, super huge difference. But I am still trying to use up the yarn. Let me show you. Sorry for the shaking. But up there I got some random yarns, uh, variegated yarns, self-strapping yarns, stuff like that. I'm trying to use up that shelf <laughs> so these two balls were on there so I want to just keep pulling from that shelf and using it that's why I've been making blankets and stuff um, and I got a lot of red hearts that were saver variegated up there so I'll probably be making amigurumis out of that because you can't really make blankets out of that it's not the softest yarn in the world but uh, yeah but that's what I'm working on today so let me know what you guys are working on today if you're if, I'm talking lowly because Jesse's still asleep I don't want to wake him up <laughs> but um, Leave me a comment in down below and let me know what you guys are working on today. And also, if you didn't watch my, my latest um, No Kitchen Name episode, go check it out. Wink, wink, because there's a special thing on there. Wink, wink. <laughs> 
and uh, that way you can enter that special thing. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and probably crochet a little bit before Jesse wakes up. And then I might get a walk in too because I got to start taking care of my health a little bit better. <laughs> but I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.